Ellen Guillaume and coming at you from Community Yoga. And today we're going to do a 30 minute yoga sculpt class. So if you have weights, you can grab them. I'm using threes and fives today. Um, you don't have to do any weights. You can grab whatever you'd like. You can use soup cans, water bottles, anything for a little bit of resistance. Okay, so join me. If you need to pause this and go get your weights and get your equipment, get yourself all set up so that you feel ready to go. And we're gonna have a great practice, get you in and out, 30 minutes. So come to the top of your mat. Stand well at the top of your mat. Give yourself a little bit of space in between your feet. So if you gaze down, your feet are right under your hips. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. And do that again, take a breath in and a breath out. You can close the eyes for a moment, let the hands be active alongside of you, and just check in from the feet to the head, feeling the breath sweeping in and sweeping out. Start to draw up strength from the feet, feeling the belly firm, collarbones spreading, crown of the head is lengthening, back of the neck is nice and long. Take an inhale and an exhale. Just rock forward a little bit so you're moving into the toe mounds, then rock back into the heels. Do that a couple more times, perhaps brace, embracing a little bit of wobbliness. Good. And then take a big breath in, reach it up. Palms to chest out. Two more times, in and out. Good, one more. Nice, this time when the arms reach up, make fists and then circle the wrists. Once you get to shoulder height, stay here, circle the other way, five, four, three, two, belly's firm, one. Press your palms away and draw your middle finger in toward your ears, opening up that whole line. Take a breath in. This might feel a little sticky and uncomfortable. Just breathe through it. Inhale and exhale. Nice, stay with it one more time in. Really press through the heels of the palms and out. Legs are active, lift the toes, hug up the inner arches of your feet. Good job. And then just start to shake the wrists, shake the hands. It's like you're flicking water off your fingernails, warming up the forearms, the wrists, preparing to lift the weights. Good. And then shrug your shoulders up and let them go down. Really let something go there. Inhale, exhale. Do that again. In and out. Nice work. Take a breath in. Arms reach overhead, exhale, fold over your legs. Let the feet widen a little bit more than they have been, making some room for the belly and the torso to shift downward. Let the head be heavy, gentle pulse from side to side. You can walk the hands to the outside of your ankles, sway, creating a bit of a C curve here. Good, awakening the side body for three. Two, and one. Inhale for stillness, lengthen the heart away from the hips, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank pose, take a full breath in, squeeze the inner thighs together, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, side out. One more time in, and out. Walk your hands back to meet your toes, bend the knees, Soften through here the crown of the head and then inhale, rise up, back of the mat. Lift to the toes so the heels rise, big breath. Keep an activation on the inner thighs. Exhale, fold over the legs, interlace the fingers behind you. Cascade the heart over the thighs and lift the clasped palms any amount. So they can be here or they can start to lift up overhead. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more time in. 
and out. Release the hands down to the earth. Super conscious walk forward into your plank pose. So know how you're getting there. Plant the palms down. Spiral the inner thighs together. Brighten up the backs of the legs. Hold your plank here. In and out. In and out. Last time. Bend the knees softly. Coil back to Adho Down Dog and extend the right leg long behind you. You can keep that left leg bent or start to press the belly of the hamstring back. Find that extension through your right heel and then draw your right knee in toward your chest. Hold and hover here. Get empty. Send the right leg up and back. Draw your right knee to your right tricep. Squeeze and hold. Extend it up and back. Left knee to left tricep. Squeeze, hold. And then right away, right foot meets left, plank pose. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lower your right knee, let the shin hover, send it back to plank. Lower your left knee, let the shin hover, send it back to plank. Do that a few more times, five, four, three, two, and one, downward facing dog. Oh my gosh, inhale. Let it go, exhale, bend the knees, walk the hands back to meet the toes, take a breath in, stand tall, or in the back of the mat, lift the heels, get long and right, and then exhale, fold over the legs. Walk it back. Find your plank pose, inhale and exhale. One more time, in and out. Stay steady and firm, yogis. Extend your left leg long behind you. Find that extension. Again, keep the right knee bent or start to ignite it back. Left leg is really bright, inhale. Left knee to left tricep, exhale. Send the leg up and back. Cross the body, squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Send the feet to me. Breathe. Good. On this side, right foot steps out, send it back. Left foot steps out, send it back. Continue with that a few more times. You can do that on the knees as well. Almost there, three, two, last one. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands back, reach for opposite elbows and sway it out. And now find yourself back in a plank pose. Lift the right heel, squeeze the right glute, that right leg is really active. Send the leg up and back, no rush to get there. Pull the knee in towards the chest, send your right foot through in between the palms. Let's keep the left knee lifted. That left heel is sending equal parts back and up, right? So I wanna feel all parts of the heel really expanding. Grab your weight in your right hand. Your left hand can be tended, or you can use your opposite weight to hold. And row it back. Bring the weight toward your hip, not up to the shoulder. So find that little arc sensation. Tendency might be here for the belly to just relax over the thigh. Instead, lift the belly. Keep it firm. Nice long set here. Four, three, two. Last one. Send the heel, um, send the shin down, weights down. Inhale, arms stretch overhead. As you exhale, cradle the head, open up the heart, slight back. Relax the head into your palms. Big breath in, big breath out. 
Reach your arms overhead. Plant the palm down. Coming into a modified side plank. So send the right arm up and over. Extend out of that right pinky toe. And then float the right foot up. Grab your weight. Take an inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. And as you're coming through that, you have an option here to lift into a modified half moon and then lower back into a side plank. Or you can keep the leg lifted or down the whole time. I'm going to move through this, lifting and lowering for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Let's find that stretch. Inhale. As you exhale, palms come down. Coming back into your plank pose, stretch it right into plank pose here. Cross the body. You got this. You choose your pace. It can be slow and unctuous, or fast and vinegary. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in your plank. Exhale, lower, slow descend. Five, triceps are burning. Four, three, Two, one, inhale, lift up for cobra, exhale, one more in, and out. Option to push through plank or take a little break in child's pose, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Do that again, in and out. Extend the left leg long behind you. Take a big breath. Exhale, step the foot through in between the palms. I'll turn this way so you can see it on this side. Right hand will either be tented on a block, a book, or your opposite weight. Grab your weight with your left palm and find that arc. So row the weight up toward your hip. Use the breath to steady yourself. Good, if you've taken other classes with me before, you might have heard me talk about that tripod of support in the foot. I want you to find that now. Heel, big toe mound, little toe mound. That will really help keep that leg anchored and fired. Last four, last three, two, and one. Lower your weight to the ground. Lower the shin. Inhale. Sweep the arms overhead. This time on the exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Kiss the heels of the palms together. Drag the knuckles down the sacrum. Option here will be to open the throat, drawing your chin up to where the ceiling meets the wall, or tuck the chin to the chest, opening up the back of the Three, two, and one. Good. Coming back now into that side plank. So the right palm lowers, left leg sweeps. Draw the left arm up and over. Big breath in, big breath out. Find your weight on the left side. We're pressing up and lowering down. If you're choosing the lift and lower option, really squeeze the glute at the top. Keep the heels super energized. Belly to spine. Two more. Weight comes down, find your plank pose. So press up into your plank, run it out. You can walk it out, take it a little slower. See what you need this morning. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lower slowly. Five, 
four, keep the belly firm, three, two, and one. Ooh, inhale. And exhale. I always think that slow lower is harder than it looks. <laughs> so I'm with you, inhale. And exhale. Press back into your plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the right leg up. Exhale, send the right foot through in between the palms. Grab the weights, pull the belly in and up first, rising into high crescent lunge. So make sure the belly is firm. When you lift the weights, you're not lifting from the back, lifting from the belly. Preparing for a high lunge press, inhale. As you exhale, cactus the arms. Good, keep going, I'll show you from the front, inhale. Exhale. Keep the breath steady. Good. Let's shoot for four more. And last one. From your high crescent lunge, we'll open up into a warrior two. Hips are open. Ground down through those feet, weights at the hips, lift and lower. Good. Standing in your strength, stay with it. Two more. Nice, open up and a wide squat here. Bring the weights out to the side, so external rotation. Pull your triceps into your low ribs. Sit low, so really burning through the legs here. Just hold for a moment, get your footing, find your balance. You can stay right here or start to pulse. This is tough, so stay with it. Burning out through those legs. Finding comfort in the discomfort, so staying with the breath, also sculpting and toning. Last five. Two, and one. Stay here, hold. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, and exhale. While we're here, big press to finish. Standing up to five-pointed star, exhale, lower, and lift. Big press. So if your heart rate is lifted, if you're sweating, you're doing it right. Five. Two. And one. Bring the weights into the heart. Pivot over that front right leg where we started. Take a breath in. Lower back down into that lunge. Let's row it just for five. And one, lower down, press it into plank pose. This time, right knee to right tricep, left to left. Rock it forward and back. Stay strong. If you're on your knees, it looks like this. And find plank, come through vinyasa. You can lower to cobra or coming into chaturanga dasana, an upward facing dog. Rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in here. Let it go, sigh it out, inhale, and exhale. Nice work. One more breath. Extend the left leg long. Pull the left knee in towards the chest. Step the foot through in between the palms. Remember, brace that belly. So I want you to pull the floating ribs in, get the belly really firm, then on an exhale, pull up those weights. Left leg is leading, right leg is long behind you. Extend the weights overhead. This time, we'll keep an internal rotation as we press and lower. Good. Stay with it. Find that length in the back of the neck. Use the power in the legs. And in a sculpt class, it's okay to breathe out the mouth, take an exhale out the mouth whenever you need to. 
Good, three more. Good, from your high crescent lunge, open up into warrior two with the left leg leading. Good, this time lateral raises. So before we move anywhere with the weights, make sure there's an ignition in both legs. Stack the left knee over the left ankle, press down the outer edge of that right leg. If you're out of breath, you're doing it right. <laughs> and press, lift and lower, good. Squeeze at the top. So find your strength and power at the top. Belly's firm the whole time. Good, five. Two more, you got this. Once the weight's lower, open up into that full wide squat. Nice work. Back to those pulses. Everyone's favorite, pull the triceps in towards the low ribs. Really feel yourself growing tall. So find that expansion first and then pulse it out. Find that strength. Draw up from the feet. Good. Shoulders back and down. Here, three, two, and one. Hold. Good. Little, little, little pulses. Go. Nice. Big finish. Press a little bit more of a V shape or a Y here with the top. And then as you exhale, when you pull in, come back into the ribs. Press and lift. Big power pose. Pull. Almost done. Five-pointed star right into your squat. Good. Almost done. Two more. Weights at the belly. Take a moment. Set up your transition. Come back over that front left leg. Belly to spine. Lower down. Row it out five times. Last one. Lower the weights gently to the ground. Plant your palms. Find your plank pose. Four twisting mountain climbers. Four knee to tricep. And feet meet back of the mat. Lower all the way or halfway. Inhale for your back bend. Wherever you are in your back bend, your legs are active and strong. Downward facing dog. Big breath here. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Feet, toes will reach towards um, the heels of the palms. So squat back, step forward. Squat back, step forward. One more each side. And then once you're there with one foot, just reach the other foot up. Grab the weights, belly to spine, rising up. If you're a little too wide, pull the feet in so they're right under the hips again. Coming into the last powerful pose we'll do. Sitting low in Utkatasana, fierce pose. Sit low, weights are facing up towards the ceiling. So as you inhale, sit low, supinated row. So press it forward and then pull back. Option to lift the heels. Send it forward, pull back. Shoulder blades squeeze together at the back. Good, four more. Hold your chair, weights to the heart, walking chair. Step back, back, forward, forward. Right, left, right, left. Switch sides, left, right, left, right. One more time, left, right, sit low, 
clasp. Right, stay here, finish strong, pulse, eight. Four. And one, stand up nice and tall. Keep the weights in the hands, roll the shoulders back. Stand tall, let the weights come to the outer edges of your hips. And just rock, tip from side to side. Let the weight be heavy. Drag it down. Opening up side body. Strengthening obliques. Make sure the inner thighs are still engaged. Imagine you're hugging a block there. Find your rhythm. And pause. Roll the shoulders up and back. Slowly lower the weights to the ground. Make sure you bend the knees. Rise back up to stand. Inhale, arms reach up. Take a slight back bend. All you're doing is lifting the center of your heart up slightly. Inhale. And then as you exhale, let the hands come down. The right arm reaches under the left. Coming into a bit of a hybrid pose here today. If you really want to take eagle, go for it. Take eagle. But instead, we'll cross the right ankle over the left. Sit low. So combining here a one-legged chair, Ekapada Utkatasana, with eagle, Garudasana arms. Sit low. On the other side, I'll show you what it looks like from the side. Take a big breath in, and a big breath out. Total body practice, total body cool down. Inhale, exhale. In a short practice, you want to get as many muscle groups as you can at the same time. Inhale, exhale. Good, release from that, unfurl, stand tall, sweep the arms overhead. And then as you exhale, let the hands come down. This time, we'll thread the left arm under the right, cross the left ankle over the right knee, and sit low. If you're having any trouble with balance here today, choose what you want to work on. So if the shoulders feel tight, just do the eagle arms and come into chair. If the hip opener feels really good, keep the foot crossed over, find a wall, and then just sit low. Always coming back to this video as often as you'd like so that you can continue to build the strength and the steadiness needed to combine both of these poses. Breath in, breath out. And then inhale, arms reach up. Take a side stretch to the left and the right. Just sway it out. And then slowly, slowly fold over the legs. Take a ragdoll sway here. Grab opposite elbows. Let the head be heavy. Let the weight of the head help you open up the back of the body here. And then bring the hands down, slowly lower to a seat. Let the legs extend in front of you. Take a breath in. Bring the hands down, breath out. Press your hands alongside of your hips. Activate through the legs. Tuck the chin for Dandasana. Breath in. Breath out. And then scooch your butt so you're at the center of your mat and you can roll down. Feel the whole articulation of the spine as you get there. Coming into Apanasana. Let the sacrum be heavy. Roll it out from side to side if that feels good. So when we work with weights, we're using those stabilizing belly muscles, the whole class. So we don't have to really do a core activation sequence because the whole class is core activation. Bring your knees over to the right for a supine twist. Left arm can extend or it can cactus. And you can either gaze up at the ceiling or softly shift your gaze over to the left. More importantly than the gaze will be to guide those knees away from the hips, opening up torso, the lines in the legs, breathe, breathe into the hips, and I think you'll be able to
able to hear it on the video, but my back is cracking a whole bunch. <laughs> Inhale, knees in. Exhale, shins and knees over to the left. Take time to set this up. So imagine you want your left ribs coiling up. Yeah, so that there's room for the whole chest to just spill open as the right arm reaches. Breathing steadily. So here's where we start to feel what happens when we unify exertion and softness. We start to find that union there of effort and ease. And it results in this integration that's, in my opinion, hard to capture in other types of movement. So give yourself time to feel that. Extend the left leg long and the right leg long. Hands are alongside of you. West side of the body melts into the earth. The east side of the body is still bright and open, receptive to the breath. Close the eyes and let the eyeballs rest deeply in their sockets. Soften the heart, chest, throat. Relax the legs from the toes up to the hips. Soften the pelvis and the sacrum. Embracing the gentle rise and fall of the ribs. Relaxing from the shoulders down to the fingertips. Tucking the chin slightly to find length in the back of the neck. And rest.
before you slowly begin to come back to your breath. Noticing that the origin of the breath changes after Shavasana. And we start to access the place deep within each of us. The yogi says, the place in us that is free from sorrow and grief and pain and worry. It's the part of us that's brilliant light. So from that place, start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll the head back from side to side. Staying here as long as you'd like if you want to linger and explore a little bit more here. Otherwise, if you're ready to get on with your day, sweep your arms overhead, pull your knees into your chest, take a big breath in. Rolling onto your side into fetal posture on the breath out. And as you press back up to seated, make a commitment to yourself today, tomorrow, for the rest of your week, that you'll try your best to find that light, to find that truth within you. So take an inhale together, and an exhale. Another breath in. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and sharing your strength. And please, if you like this video, like it, share it. Um, if you're interested in supporting the studio, there is a donation button. And um, please stay in touch with us through social media. And um, thank you for staying connected. Have a great day, everybody.